Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCI 12933 here, and today instead of a three minute tutorial, I've got more of a three minute public service announcement for all of you or any of you who are thinking about taking any certification exam, Cisco or otherwise, in May, June, or July of 2010. And there is some real world information I'm hearing from a lot of my Bulldogs, a lot of students around the world. Uh, who are giving me this info and I want to pass it on to you so you don't end up disappointed about your exam. And the reason I'm bringing this up is that a lot of candidates, and again I don't care if it's Cisco or otherwise, they tend to wait until the week before their exam to register a seat or maybe the day before or maybe even calling the center the same day. It's like, well, you know, they'll have a seat, don't worry about it, I'll just call the day that I want to go take the exam. There are a couple of factors you need to take into account kind of unique to this time of year. The first one is that for CCNP exams, a very popular certification, these exams are no longer available as of July 31. So we, we can expect to see an unusual number of CCNP candidates who are sitting for those exams now in May and then in June and July who might not be sitting for them otherwise because they want to beat that deadline. I think that's a fantastic idea, but we have to keep in mind that that means there will be that many fewer seats in our local testing center. Also, you and I as computer certification candidates must remember we're not the only ones taking exams in the testing center. And one example here in Virginia, there are several nursing schools that give CBT exams around this time of year, computer-based exams I should say. So seats are sometimes at a premium in my area at this time of year even without the CCNP exam change. And that, of course, can depend on where you live and, you know, what schools might be giving exams at these testing centers. But it is something to keep in mind that, of course, this would be the year for or time of year for finals. So we've got to consider that we've probably got more CCNP candidates in the testing centers than usual. Also, we've got to consider other fields, people from other fields taking exams at our centers. And the reason I'm bringing this up, and I feel it's so important, is that I'm already hearing from Bulldogs out there, from students around the world, that they're having to wait three to five weeks for a seat in their local testing center, and many of them have told me, usually I just have to wait a couple of days, or I can call the center that same day. And that's as of May 10, which is the date that I'm making this video. So if we're seeing that kind of crush at some testing centers in May, you can imagine what it's going to be like in June and July, especially as that CCNP deadline gets closer and closer. So my advice to you, if you're planning on taking any vendor exam in May, June, or July, I don't care, Cisco or otherwise, I strongly recommend you register for your seat right now and then plan your study plan around that date. I recommend you do that anyway, as many of you know. You know, go ahead and set your date and that focuses the mind. But especially right now, you want to go ahead and set that date because you don't want to wait until July to try to register for a seat. Because I've seen this happen before. I've seen it firsthand. It happened to a buddy of mine once. He waited until almost literally the last minute or the last week to register for an exam that was expiring. Well, the thing was, everybody else in the world who wanted to take that exam before it was expiring, they had already taken all the seats. He literally had to fly to another state to take the exam. And he passed it, but it cost him a lot more money than it should have because he had to pay for a plane ticket, had to pay for, a, pay for a hotel, and those are expenses that we just don't need. So again, whichever vendor you're studying for right now, I strongly advise you to go ahead and register for your seat now. I don't care if you're planning on taking it on July 30. Register for that seat now and plan accordingly. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes to watch this video because I don't want you locked out of the testing centers. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933.